This is one of the coolest professional and affordable uh, monitors follow focus puller that you can build. So let's build it. Uh, for this I'm going to use the free world 5.5 inches and the reason why because it has three uh, screw threaded around so we can use them all which goes about 150 all the way to 250 depending on what type you're buying. And for wireless video transmitting, I'm using the Holy Land Mars 300 Pro, which is $421. Link on the description. So this unit comes with this attachment where I can use a double head stuff screw by a small rig, and that will actually will help me to connect the transmitter with the monitor on the top. So let's screw it in. And to pull focus, I'm gonna use the Tilta Nucleus Nano, uh, which is $328. Also link on the description. And I'm gonna use the wheel attachment play which comes in the box, which is mainly used for the running nets or for the Scion crane, but this time I'm gonna use it to attach it to the right side of the monitor. All right, so I'm gonna put this away because it belongs in the camera and we're ready to build it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach the video transmitter on the top. I'm just gonna screw it in all the way until, the, until you see the, the golden um, thread facing you. And next, I'm gonna add the attachment plate on the side of the monitor, which is um, where I'm gonna place my follow focus wheel. This is a very affordable setup. I mean, in the total cost is close to a thousand dollars, and probably you can buy um, payments like I do sometimes. I use our firm account and buy my stuff uh, in three, six, up to twelve months, and then you're done. I mean, and you can always get your money back, and probably if you rent it out like in ten or eleven times or a year, so. After that, you can just make profits. All right, so now let's add batteries to all the gear. Um, t oh, the Tinsel Nano comes with its own battery, so you can recharge it and charge it again. I mean, I'm gonna put a link in the description for the rest of the batteries so you can purchase if you're interested. Also, this battery is pretty cool because you can actually see how much energy is left by pressing this button. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect the HDMI cable that goes out from the transmitter and in on the monitor. I think I placed it on the wrong uh, socket on the transmitter, but at the end of the video, I fix it before I turn everything off. So basically the signal comes out from the transmitter into the monitor. Very cool, so now what we gotta do is now mount it on the light stand or a C-stand or whatever is best. In my case, I'm using a light stand and I'm also using a sandbag that I put on the bottom so that way it holds better. Uh, the follow focus, I mean, you can use it right there as it is, or you can just hold it. The reason why I put them there is because I don't have uh, an attachment so I can put it around my neck and it will hold it. But so that way we will prevent it from falling down if we are doing things fast, you know, but then it's up to you. So now I want to show you how these bad boys work together. So I'm gonna move the wheel focus, and as, as you can tell, the assistant focus is telling us when it's green that is in focus, and when it's not green, it's out of focus. Pretty cool. So that's it, guys. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, please subscribe, so thank you. Um, don't forget to put a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.